and living in Santa Teresa and where to run the cheapest errands. That is what I will be sharing with you because I live very close to Santa Teresa but I do not get my um, uh, my my food and stuff in Santa Teresa in general. I go somewhere else, the most cheapest places and um, where basically most locals get their weekly uh, errands. And uh, I'm gonna show you how that looks like so you know where to go when you are staying in Santa Teresa. So let me just show you the way to Cobano. Oh, before I'm gonna show you everything and tell you more about it, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is an open invite. You can do so by hitting that little icon on the screen and hit the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Um, I live in Costa Rica thanks to my 100% online business. So if you're interested in learning more about that, then you just can continue clicking the very first link below every of my videos or scroll more down in the description below every of my videos because it's stuffed with more value, book tips and other information that might be beneficial for you. Here you go, we're heading towards Kobano. It looks like this. So right now we're coming from the side of Montezuma and this is the main road entering the little town called Kobano. And why do we get run our errands here in Kobano? It's because it is used mostly by locals or long-term expats who live here for quite a while and know that this is the, yeah, the best place, the best choice, the cheapest prices. Uh, we have a bank here. You see it here on the right side, the Banco Nacional. Um, and it has different open times as Santa Teresa. Uh, so this is basically, we're turning to the right right now. This is basically, if you go to the left here, this is the road to Santa Teresa. So this is the big cross. Here is the big bus stop. Here is a bus station. So buses coming from San Jose stop here. There's lots of awesome sodas here. You see on the left side, you see a soda. And this is the mega super. This is where in general we get our biggest supplies. Uh, we also come here because there is local um, shops like the butcher and um, we get our meat for ourselves and for our dogs every week here. Uh, there is places where you can buy fridges and televisions and water boilers and stuff. We just stopped at the butcher um, and uh, we're gonna see if they have our weekly um, reservation ready because we come here every week and the moment that we show our faces there basically get the bags from the from the fr from the fridge and they know exactly uh, what we need and that is so cool about this town life uh, this is um, yeah one of the benefits they know you they, they know what you need uh, it's friendly. For example, I needed to to repair my bag because the zipper was broke and I brought it to the local leather store and uh, in Kobano across the bank. It's an awesome place if you want to buy machetes or leather bags or beautiful hats. Dos. And dos kilos the Porto Pachuga. So, um... So yeah, uh, I brought my bags there and they needed to be fixed a little bit. And I was asked, so I come from a big city in The Hague in the Netherlands, right? So I, I said like, do I need a receipt? And they were like, receipt, we remember it. And I saw my bags being, being put like in a corner on a pile of other stuff. And I was like, okay, let's see if this works out. Well, I came back uh, after a week, they weren't done yet, but I didn't even have to explain that those are my bags there in the corner. Are they finished yet? She already knew, she said, oh, pardon, it's not um, done yet. I didn't have time enough, but next week. So basically, uh, it, is, uh, it is very, very personal here. Uh, I think it's a benefit. Um, so yeah, let's see how the meat is going. I'm gonna go inside right now. Yeah, so I always feel, you know, where I should ask um, if I can film. So let's just stand here. Well, there's nothing really to see, 
but Dirk is gonna get some carne. Hola! This is amazing. Look, look. Ah, oh, this is so amazing. This is like sweet pork. You get it with tortillas and um, this melts on your tongue. See? So this is our favorite place where we drink our coffee and where we get like pieces of carne when, while we are waiting for the butcher, which is next door. So as you can see, um, across the street is a school this is a local school and let me show you another place which is awesome to buy stuff like buckets uh, brooms uh, glasses plates whatever all that stuff and that's our favorite place it's called maya we get all that stuff here let me show you Here you see, they have everything. So, I get stuff like this here for the kids, their school, right? It's all local prices. This is in general cheaper than in Santa Teresa um, because it's in Kobano. They have lambs. This is just. The store where you can basically find everything there's this one thing sometimes this is empty and they're waiting for a big truck to arrive sometimes they have a lot of choice now i see that they have quite some choice oh but there you go here my favorite glasses are sold out oh no these are my favorite glasses because they don't break so fast and we just always buy like 15 or something and uh mugs everything oh these are awesome if you want to make lasagna and there's also big ones oh now i don't see the big ones <laughs> but yeah you have everything here for the kitchen there i have basically good quality pots and pans here always here this is quite good so this all is bought this is all coming from price mart so you pay more than at Pricemark. I assure you, everything that you see here, they shop at Pricemark. <laughs> so these are awesome for the dishes. Dirk's mom has one. So you know, when you're starting out and you're moving in a new house, I um, recommend you to come here, get a broom and get like laundry basket. These boxes are amazing. These are amazing, these strong. I uh, keep dry dog food in here, for example, but you can use this also on the back of your uh, four by four truck. Uh, you can put ice in it if you want to um, transport stuff that needs to be cold. Well, you know, what can I say more? They have all that stuff here. They also have like stuff for dogs. Let me see. Yeah, you see? Dog stuff. You see if they have cat food. No. So, yeah. I buy a lot of stuff here. Let me see. I needed a new leash for Joey. Let me see. Hmm. I'm gonna go to another store for that. Oh, they also have tools. Look, they have tools. All stuff. Also, stuff that I couldn't find at the garage like stuff you need in your car like this for the traffic hose you need to have this in your car you see and they just sell it here they sell mini fire thingies so you know that this is a success shop not just for to run just regular errands but also here tents and stuff you want to camp get your tent here a lot of stuff comes from china too price mart but since we live at a peninsula it's pretty neat that this shop is here so you know now you know where to find it okay mm -hmm. now let's walk back to the butcher 
And to Dirk, I hope he's not eating all the all the carne. And uh, let me take this off. Whew, it's getting warmer. It's warmest time of the day. just went to the garden center to get some nice plants for grandma oh now it's locked uh, now we're gonna go to the supermarket i guess yep the mega super okay we just decided not to go to the mega super are we gonna go to super Ronnie, which is closer to our house now we're gonna go to the ferreteria to pick up some lamps we're in the kitchen of grandma Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna eat some meat now. Mm. Not for vegetarians, sorry. <laughs> so here's the Goyo. I would recommend you to go to the Goyo for water boarders, washing machines, dryers, all that stuff. curve 
when you go around the corner. As you can see here, this is very dangerous to pass this car right now, which we still see a lot of tourists do when there is a car coming from the other side. And it's a truck, you're gonna be crushed. And you don't want it, okay? The best clinic in the country is very far from this place, close to Santa Teresa, so you know. So here is a, a little bit of better quality of the road and yeah, you just have to follow this road. You have to pass our street, uh, which is a little bit ahead. I'm not gonna film all that time, but just follow the road down, 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 down until you reach the cross of Carmen. That's the Carmen Crusade. You see a beach there and then you know it. I'm in Santa Teresa. So I hope that my video was helpful this time, just about daily life, where to run errands, if you're living in or close to Santa Teresa. Of course, you can also run your errands in Montezuma, but I prefer Kobano because it is the center of the, the down point of the peninsula, which is the less, the least local oriented town. And Montezuma is like a tourist town as well. So everything is based on tourist prices there. Uh, to prevent that, yeah, just follow up all my tips and advice about Kovano and I am looking forward to meeting you one day um, in Santa Teresa and let me know if you like my video and of course you can reward me by giving me your thumbs up share my video and if you have anything to add or to ask just reply below and of course subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you want to receive updates when I post new videos very noisy Range Rover <laughs> and I cannot hear myself.